What's up? I'm Sydney Neely and it's time for the shortcut. Coming up on tonight's show, summer is right around the corner and travel is back in a major way. Joining me on the shortcut to share how you can plan a great vacation without breaking the bank is award winning concierge and travel expert Sarah Dandishi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, thanks so much for having me on. Thank you for joining us. So it's no secret that vacations can be expensive. How can we plan a budget friendly vacation during a time when the biggest travel comeback in years is taking off? Yeah, well, you said it right. Travel is back in a very, very big way. So really some things I would say choosing off the beaten path destinations and bucking the trends, as they sort of say, are the best ways to plan a budget friendly trip. For example, instead of going to maybe beaches and national parks when the crowds are there, cities are a great choice filled with lots of activities and, and things really of all different price points. And then Basically, what you want to do is you want to determine what's best for you and your family, be it flying or a road trip, and then plan around that. And what are some great ideas for domestic trips this summer? So since we are talking about cities, two suggestions. New York City is great. Now is such a perfect time because it's not too crowded. And of course, there are a lot of cool attractions there. You've got like the Oculus at the World Trade Center, strolling the High Line, or if you want to stay centrally in Times Square, the New York Marriott Marquis is right in the middle of all the action. So you can easily catch maybe a Broadway show, which is a must if you are traveling with your kids. But another awesome city, Portland. You can get a taste of the Pacific Northwest and not too far away, you've got Mount Hood, Multnomah Falls, and oh, by the way, this is fun. If you didn't know, there's actually tax-free shopping in Portland. So there you go. Go boutique and stay at the Bidwell, which is this really cute property right in the heart of the city, close to lots of stores for that, that tax-free shopping. You've got Voodoo Donuts as well as the famous Powell's Bookstore. All right, I definitely made a note of that tax-free shopping. It's yeah. in there. What about a destination that might be a bit closer, though? Okay, an overlooked but awesome city to explore is Oklahoma City. You can even make it a road trip because it's only about six hours away. If you love hotels and or new hotels specifically in history, you're definitely in luck because they've got a brand new hotel there, the National Hotel, which was once the largest building in the state. So you'll definitely want to check it out. And if you're going with kids, some museum must visit. You've got the First Americans Museum, the National Cowboy and Western Museum, or you can always go outside and check out the Myriad Bot Botanical Gardens as well as Scissor Tail Park. I love it. Some great ideas for our next summer vacation. Thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us. As always, for more information, you can visit asaconcierge.tv. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.